cupcake I also found in Taste of Home Cupcakes recipe book and it is little flowers on stems in a flower pot. So you're going to need some some kind of gumdrop in order to make the flowers and you're going to need cupcakes of course. Now for the gumdrops in order to prepare them put a little bit of white flour, uh, white, put a little bit of white sugar on your countertop take the gumdrop and using a rolling pin you're simply going to roll out the gumdrop a little just to flatten it out a bit and I'm going to do an orange flower and a yellow one there we go just so that they're flattened out a bit and we're going to do this green one as well because we're going to be using this green one to make leaves with okay then now depending what you want to make the flowers look like in this particular case I'm going to try to make it look like a tulip so I'm just going to round off the bottom a bit now these are just scissors I use in the kitchen and for those of you that are going to ask of course I wash them when, after I use them very well and then I'm going to cut out little triangle shapes here Looks, sort of, looks a little like a tulip. There's our little flowers. And then for the leaves, we're just going to cut... Just going to cut some strips of green here like this. I'll put those aside. Now, for the stems of the flowers, I'm using these Pringle sticks. You can also use pretzel sticks as well and make a little hole in the bottom of the flower so that the stick doesn't break and then I'm just going to insert pretzel stick into there there's one little flower and then same with the other one one of my other viewers had told me that it's best to put these into the cupcakes just before you're going to serve them because the pretzel stick or or these um, Pringle sticks if they're left in the cupcake overnight, let's say, they will become very uh, soggy and they'll break very easily. So if you're going to do this, make sure that you do it. You stick in the flowers just before you're ready to bring them where you're going to bring them or serve them. And one thing with the gumdrops, it's almost like plasticine. You can actually kind of mold them to make a nice little shape. So we're going to say these are our little pretty little flowers on stems. These are just chocolate cupcakes. It actually comes from a mix. And then you're going to peel off as cleanly as possible. You're going to peel off the cupcake paper if you have any. Like so. And then you want to apply the flower pot edge to it. You want to make the base look like a flower pot. So what we're going to do is we're going to use fruit roll-ups. Fruit roll-ups are candy candy in a strip and it's kind of like um, like fruit leather and it comes in a roll like this. If you don't have this in your country I don't know, I'm not quite else sure you're going to use I don't know what else you could use in this case. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to put this around here like this. I'm going to put it around the base of a cupcake. So we're just going to measure how much we need and we're going to overlap it a tiny bit And then just you take a little bit of water and just put a little bit of water on to the fruit roll-up. This is going to make it sticky and hopefully it'll adhere to the cupcake. Just a little bit of water and then we're going to put it around the base of the cupcake and then we're going to overlap. We're going to overlap it here and this will keep it from falling off like so. And now for the edge of the pot, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to get a piece that's going to fit all the way around with a little bit of overlap. Except we're going to fold it in half. So a little bit of water just to moisten it slightly. And then fold the strip in half lengthways ways 
like so. And then a little bit more water. If you hear a little bit of kids yelling in the background, it's because I'm making this in the kitchen and the, my son and a friend is playing downstairs. And then we're going to try to keep the seam at the back of the cupcake. So you're going to put it so that it's on the top of the, the edge of the cupcake here. like so. And then overlap and stick. And then just try to make it so that the seams that you have are all together so that when you turn the cupcake this way it looks alright. I got a little bit of white sugar on there. It actually does look like a little like a flower pot, doesn't it? Now you could you could just stick your little flowers in just like this. Just like the way they are now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm just going to take, this is just commercial icing, uh, chocolate icing, and I'm just going to spread a little over the top. But if you use a chocolate cupcake, you can see how the chocolate cupcake could be the dirt. But I want to make it a look a little bit more like dirt. So I'm going to spread some icing on the top, like so. And then I'm going to add some Oreo cookie crumbs. Now you can buy these in a box here. If you can't get them, you just take cookies and just crush them. And I'm going to push, just going to sprinkle this on top, just so that it looks like dirt. You probably should do this on top of a plate, of course, so that you can reuse the crumbs that fall. Okay, now we're going to put in the flowers. Now the stems themselves, you can vary the length of, of course, depending on how you want them to look. We're just going to poke our little flowers in to the pot. And then as far as the leaves go, you can really do a lot of different things. Um, I'm going to just take some of the ones I've cut here. And I'm just going to flatten them out a little bit. And adding a little bit of granulated sugar makes them less sticky. That's why I'm adding a bit of sugar. And then you're just going to poke the leaves in here. So I'm just going to make a little hole with another stick to make it easier and I'm just going to put the leaf in and there you go little flower pot cupcake and if you wanted to you could even maybe put a gummy worm on here if you wanted a little worm coming out of the flower pot that would be okay too there you go